If you're in any doubt about how significant these new images are, I wish you could be in this room because around me are the scientists, the astrophysicists, the cosmologists who really understand how they've changed our view of the universe. Maybe the real issue isn't the age of the universe, but the story we've been telling ourselves about how stars and galaxies grow. According to current science, the universe kicked off around 14 billion years ago and has been steadily evolving ever since. But let's all take a step back and understand something. You see, since Webb began its mission, it's been dropping cosmic bombshells to say the least. From spotting ancient stars to capturing the most distant galaxies ever seen, these galaxies existed just 300 to 400 million years after the Big Bang. This is old news now. But here's the twist. There's a cosmic speed limit for how far back Webb should be able to see. Based on the standard model of cosmology, there's a time called the Dark Ages, a period when no stars had formed and the universe was pitch black. Webb shouldn't be able to peer past that. And yet, it just might have. <laughs> Funny, right? A groundbreaking discovery now suggests our understanding of the early universe, and even its size, might be completely off the mark. Fresh images from the James Webb Space Telescope have revealed something truly astonishing. Galaxies that appear to be older than the universe itself. But for how long will they keep showing these images of galaxies that Webb claims to be older than the universe? These deep space snapshots show a stunning collection of ancient galaxies, many of which are so far away and so old that they defy everything we thought we knew about cosmic history. Some of these galaxies might even predate the universe's estimated age of 13.8 billion years. That's right, Webb has captured objects that, on paper, shouldn't even exist. Now, scientists are urging caution, saying these findings still need to pass peer review, but even at this early stage, the data is already rewriting the boundaries of what's possible. Before Webb, the record holder for the most distant galaxy was GNZ 11, discovered by Hubble, dating back to just 400 million years after the Big Bang. But Webb has obliterated that record. It's now confirmed at least four new contenders even farther out in space and time. Among them, a galaxy called GSZ-13, believed to have existed a mere 325 million years after the Big Bang, now stands as the oldest galaxy ever seen. Now pay close attention, because this is what other space channels don't tell you. Due to the relentless expansion of space, GSZ-13 is now estimated to be a jaw-dropping 33 billion light years from Earth. But the real twist came when astronomers noticed something bizarre in Webb's latest data. One of the objects even has a redshift of 17, a measurement so extreme it directly contradicts our current models of how the universe evolved. Turns out, one of the galaxies thought to be a record breaker in age was actually an imposter. New spectroscopy data revealed it wasn't nearly as ancient as we believed. Its redshift value clocked in at just five a thick dust cloud between the James Webb Space Telescope and the galaxy had distorted its true position, making it seem like it belonged to the earliest era of the cosmos. But don't breathe easy just yet. Peter Van Dockham, <clears throat> I hope I said that right, an astronomer from Yale University, weighed in. While this galaxy was a misidentification, Webb has still spotted real candidates, even closer to the moment of the Big Bang. If confirmed, some of these galaxies would have existed less than 200 million years after the universe began. That's insanely early, and a massive problem for our current model of how the cosmos evolved. According to the standard cosmological model, the early universe should be full of chaotic primitive galaxies, small, messy, and unstructured but Webb is showing us something totally unexpected. Some of these ancient galaxies, they're well-organized, massive, and complex, with structures similar to our modern Milky Way. Even Nobel Prize-winning astrophysicist Dr. John C. Mather, the senior project scientist behind the Webb telescope, was taken aback by the findings. If galaxies this mature existed so early on, then our understanding of cosmic evolution, how stars formed, how matter organized, how galaxies took shape, 
might need a total overhaul. Scientists have long worked to unravel the epic saga of how galaxies formed and evolved. The plan? Use the Webb telescope to catch sight of the first galaxies coming to life. And sure enough, Webb delivered. But what it found? Totally unexpected. Instead of tiny, dim baby galaxies, Webb captured monsters. Galaxies that were bigger, brighter, and hotter than anyone predicted. It sent shockwaves through the astronomy community. Some even questioned if the expansion of the universe itself might be flawed. But more likely, it's our current ideas about how stars and galaxies grow that are in need of a major update. Take Sears 2112, for example. Webb spotted this galaxy just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, and it's already Milky Way-sized. That's a massive problem for our standard cosmological model. According to existing theories, spiral galaxies, especially barred spirals like our own Milky Way, weren't supposed to form until the universe was at least halfway through its life. These bars, formed by tightly packed stars stretching through the center of a galaxy, were thought to be a sign of galactic maturity, something that took billions of years to achieve. But now, we're seeing fully formed, structured galaxies almost at the very dawn of time. It's like discovering an adult in the cradle. And it means we may need to rethink the entire timeline of cosmic evolution. The Hubble Space Telescope once painted a picture of the early universe as a chaotic, unstructured place. Very few barred spiral galaxies, very little order. But now, the James Webb Space Telescope has flipped that script. Its latest find, a stunning spiral galaxy named Sears 2112, is shaking up everything we thought we knew about galactic evolution. This galaxy isn't just any ancient relic. It's a Milky Way lookalike that existed 11.7 billion years ago when the universe was just 15% of its current age. According to current models, galaxies were supposed to take billions of years to evolve into such complex structures. But Sears 2112? It says otherwise. Scientists thought galaxies slowly morphed through mergers, collisions, and bursts of star formation, gradually becoming more massive and structured over time. That process was expected to span billions of years, not just one. And yet, here's Sears 2112, casually existing a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, already showing off the mature architecture of a spiral galaxy. This discovery isn't just a fluke, it's a cosmic curveball. Either we're missing something major in our understanding of galaxy formation, or we might be completely wrong about how the early universe unfolded. <sighs> wow, that was a lot. <laughs> But nonetheless, if you have watched this video completely, then do share your thoughts in the comments.